What's up, YouTube? Hope all is well. Today, I'm up here in South Bend, Indiana. Um, yesterday, I had a uh, benefit um, at a place called Applied uh, Strength and Conditioning. And it was a uh, benefit for veterans who commit have committed suicide. Uh, just a little fundraiser. Um, and today, I'm up here working uh, I'm heading to East Trace Muscle uh, with a friend of mine, Thomas Davis, um, and uh, I'm here to address some technical issues. Uh, we have a lot of volume today. Uh, today, programming calls for 10 sets of 525, uh, five reps a piece. Uh, last week was uh, eight sets, completed that, though I noticed uh, by the eighth set, that uh, became really fatigued. It's just a lot of volume. Um, I still don't have a meat picked out yet. I'm just addressing some of my weak points. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna hit the platform until, you know, I feel like I'm ready um, instead of jumping into something. But I'm for, feeling very uh, optimistic about um, the upcoming months. Uh, and one thing that I'm grateful for is uh, just being able to, you know, lift under a new atmosphere um, and just have some, uh, uh, some, you know, opportunities to, you know, be around people who are uh, lifting heavy weights. So I'll get, I'll, next up, I'll post some of these videos. Um, all right. Last warm up set. Usually during warm up sets, I try to anything above 315. Uh, I try to keep it low reps, anywhere from three to six reps. Here's the first set. Uh, program actually called for 
525 uh, but uh, from a misload I accidentally uh, loaded up 530 which do I think that that makes a big deal overall um, yes I do believe five pounds overall makes a big difference especially when you're talking about this much volume and and at this at this weight so um, like I said uh, the really the programming called for 525 five reps 10 sets um, in which I accidentally loaded 530 the week before um, I did 525 pounds five reps eight sets and we went up a couple reps uh, well a couple sets this week um, coming into this I felt very positive uh, even throughout these sets as you see uh, the, the speed still stays the same um, through every rep but as we go on you'll see that um, towards the end of, uh, of my sets that I start to get a little fatigued. I tried to make sure that I got plenty of uh, angles uh, for this workout just for myself so I can make sure that I'm staying consistent and uh, keeping, uh, staying consistent in my foot placement and trying to maintain my tightness throughout the whole set. Um, and this is one of the main reasons why I came, came up here to work with my uh, bro TD to kind of, you know, help and make sure that uh, I have, uh, you know, my setup corrected. Um, so my, I've been really working on trying to keep my feet flat and um, just trying to make sure, like I said, that I maintain tightness throughout the set. Um, and I had my buddy uh, TJ also, which is a massage therapist, just to look and see if, if anything isn't firing like it should. Um, so all around, just I'm really trying to because at this point, everything matters. So even the small things. So whether my foot placement, how tight I am, uh, whether uh, my, my, my left lat's not firing right, whatever it may be, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to fix uh, these uh, deficiencies. Um, but right here, we're going into the eighth set. This is the set that I fell on. Um, again, programming called for 525 pounds, but... Uh, miss load um, and loaded up 530. Um, do I think if I had the 525 on there, would I have completed the recommended sets and reps? Yeah, I do believe, but at the end of the day, I'm still getting getting the work. Uh, I'm still putting in the work, and hopefully, uh, these will the, a lot of the, all this volume will help um, me for coming into 2019. Uh, especially my next meet, putting up a huge number. Um, which, that was a close call, as you can see. Uh, the last rep of the eighth uh, set, that uh, lo locking out the last rep, hit the uh, the bottom peg, or the bottom rack. Um, but I'm glad everybody was around. Here, just threw in a little, uh, a little bit of accessory work. Love accessory work. Fills in the gaps for, for really? wherever I'm lacking. Um, love hitting the back. Thank you guys.
What's up, guys? I am on my way to work. It is 8 a.m. Uh, I got in last night around uh, 9 o'clock, 9.30. Um, after my gym session, uh, hopped, on the, hopped on the road. About a five and a half hour drive uh, back up to work this morning. Um, as you can see in the videos before, uh, just kind of discussing a few things that, that I noticed uh, during my uh, workout. Of course, I didn't get uh, the sets that I needed to get. Um, I got sh I fell short on my eighth set, last rep. Uh, some things that I know that I still need to continue to work on is my setup, which I kind of corrected yesterday. Uh, just maintaining my tightness throughout uh, uh, all the lifts. But uh, I was just fatigued, which, I mean, it happens. Um, just build, I need to build up endurance. Uh, you know, my stamina, I mean, I don't think strength was really necessarily an issue. Uh, I just know that I was gassed out by the end, and I ended up trying to go back for a ninth set, which uh, that's in the, in, the, in the videos too. Uh, but you know what happens, and it's a lot different compared to some of my other workouts. Because um, there's times that you know I've worked out, and, and really um, I could really work out again the next day. But today. body just has to get used to the volume I mean which you know 10 sets of 525 for five reps a piece I mean that's a lot that's crazy uh, but uh, you know we got to take extreme measures uh, for this extreme circumstance and I have to get stronger I have to build uh, which there's always room for improvement um, but that's the game plan I'm gonna continue to uh, by the way, all my program is in programming or is created by Josh Brand uh, with Jailhouse Strong Team. Uh, and it's just a part of the process, man. And it is what it is. And I'm going to trust it. And I'm going to keep grinding. Um, I love doing what I do, even though today, like literally, I feel like I got hit by a truck. Uh, but I, I'm sore from my quads all the way up to my chest uh, from... You know, the, all this volume and, and changing my setup and trying to maintain tightness, um, getting even tighter in my setup. So it is what it is. Uh, I'll continue to post uh, updates, um, track all my progress uh, to me getting the all time world record for bench press, uh, unequipped, raw. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys like this video. Share this video and uh, subscribe. Thank you guys.